a very clean quarter from Verizon. We thought it would be a good one, but it, they exceeded our expectations. I think the highlight to note is the growth in service revenue and wireless mm -hmm. on an as-reported basis. It's the first time it grew north of 2, 2.5 percent, I believe, and that's the first time in several quarters. So it's a significant shift and an important milestone for them to reach. I, I, I noticed, I was reading through the release, and again, I haven't gone through it in detail, but I did notice mm -hmm. that they said that now they have fewer people who are on a discount plan or a promotional plan, it sounds like, something like 82 percent or not. Is that where they saw this growth? They're, they're getting more people to pay full price? Exactly, and they've lapped on what was the um, what was called EIP, the equipment installment plan. So we're getting fairly easy comps. So especially including a more rational service pricing environment, as T-Mobile and Sprint have been a lot more rational in the wake of their merger or trying to get that merger done. Well, let's talk about the wireline too. They said that there were 43,000 FiOS internet net additions, and FiOS revenue growth was up by 2.3 percent. Are those the key metrics to be watching there? You know, for Verizon, wireline is really becoming de-emphasized. Remember, they sold about two years ago three of their largest states to a company called Frontier. So that's important. But I think, you know, even with Hans as the new appointment of CEO, it's really showing wireless is more their focus. So I would expect most of the language and talking to points on the call today to be centered more around wireless and certainly their 5G effort. What's your take on the churn when it comes to uh, uh, video subscribers? I mean, again, being de-emphasized there, I, I don't think that's surprising. Um, you know, when I see the churn number, the first number I look at is that wireless churn, and that coming in at 0.75 percent is probably going to be by far the best in the industry. When you're talking about 110 million subs, that's the bigger number to focus on, I think, well, just because Fios has become a lower, smaller part of the business. When you said earlier that uh, T-Mobile and Sprint were being more rational, what do you mm -hmm. mean by that? And, and, and I ask it in the context of regulators now looking at this deal and what it ultimately is going to mean for pricing for customers. Well, I think that, you know, listening to both CEOs at the hearing and that they had on the, at the Senate hearing on, I think it was June 27th, um, Marcelo Clare, the former CEO of Sprint, basically said that, that we can't do it alone. It's hard for our subscale nature of our model. And together, we will be stronger to be more pricing aggressive for the consumer. Until it happens, it's going to be difficult for them to be kind of drunken sailors, for lack of a better word, word, with pricing. And you've seen that even the recent month when Sprint has pulled some of their more aggressive you think pricing. The deal, you think the, the deal is, gonna, is, go, is going to make things more competitive for Verizon or less? I think uh, as the dust settles, I think it'll be more competitive, better for the consumer, and therefore a harder pricing bogey for the two larger ones. In that transition of getting this merger done or even the process of the integration, it could be a boon for both those two larger incumbents. What is the key thing to look out for, Jennifer, when AT&T reports? For AT&T, it's all about the strategy. I mean, what's been surprising to us is the divergence of both Verizon and AT&T in the past month. I mean, AT&T is down about 20% year to date. So it's all about time order and where we go from here in that integration. Very quickly, which of these stocks do you buy? Uh, you know, we like Verizon a little bit better, but where I see AT&T at this value, I think if they say anything right, um, that stock should see some relief here. It just seems very oversold to me. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.